Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this normal program for an important news alert. We have just in been informed that the U.S. Supreme Court has done another irrational and unexpected change to our U.S. Constitution. Besides honoring and accepting homosexuality marriage, they have now accepted the next stage, acceptance of marriage between humans and animals. As you may or may not know, during the early 1980s, the first known report of homosexuality was the actual act of sexual intercourse with monkeys in South Africa. It is understood this was the first time any case of homosexuality and AIDS began, and thereafter the individual came back into the United States being a male flight attendant. Since that time, homosexuality has increased in the United States five to tenfold. In the past 20 years, it has increased 30 to 50 percent. Today, homosexuality outnumbers average heterosexuals by five to one. Now, our Constitution is being re-ratified to include an amendment that guarantees acceptance and willful marriage between animals and homosexuality. Homosexuals are now the number one individual group in the United States, and this actually is beginning to become more relevant in other parts of the world. Europe, which kind of defuncts its own records to keep other nations from knowing these facts, is close to the same numbers of percentage homosexual to heterosexuals, but they cannot accept giving that information to the general public. It is understood from what we know that it is becoming more and more a hate crime for anyone to marry a man and a woman. As a matter of fact, though the Constitution hasn't ratified this amendment, many people within the Senate and the Congress are trying to pass bills that make it an illegal act for marriage to exist other than between a man and a man, a woman and a woman, or a man and a woman and an animal. A threesome is not something that anybody can think is completely out of range for the kind of attitude that our country has adopted in the past 10 years. Another news article has just come in. The president, or shall I say the dictator now, is telling all news outlets to inform the public that heterosexuality is now an illegal attitude. No one is now allowed to be ex acknowledged or be considered to be married if you married your spouse as a man or a woman with a man or a woman. So, looks like our whole lifestyle now is being abandoned. Tradition is gone. The only other outcome of this would be that we all must allow even homosexuals into our homes and live with us. If we refuse, the government would probably have us arrested or put in jail because we don't accept their philosophy. Of course, that has already been jammed down our throats in the past five years. And let's see if anything else has come in. That's it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, all I can tell you in this news report is that our country is now in the wastebasket. We now continue with regular programming. If we have any further updates on this radical change, although most people think it's considered totally normal, we will break in and interrupt to let you know. Thank you all.